Good morning one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. In this video, I'll be sharing a robust architecture on AWS for delivering data to the data lake using AWS EventBridge, AWS Lambda, AWS Kinesis FireOS, and AWS Kinesis uh, Data Stream. I'll be showing you an end-to-end -end demo of this architecture, how you can leverage the use of all the cloud technologies to deliver data rapidly and scale on demand using Kinesis, right? So let's get started with the video. I have a architecture here that I'm about to explain you. So the idea or the goal is the producers will be publishing uh, messages at a extremely high pace on the event, uh, event bus. And from the event bus, we have a Kinesis data stream. The data, the data is pumped constantly to the data stream. Uh, from that data stream, we have a Kinesis FireOS. Uh, we have a Lambda for filtering those events because we want to, uh, you know, create events. We want to format the data. So we have a Lambda that does that. And at the end, all the data is delivered to the data lake. As you can see, this model is extremely um, scalable. Uh, event bridge can, you know, you can send um, thousands or millions of events to the event bus and all the data goes to your uh, data streams, Kinesis data streams, and then eventually goes to the fire hose and your fire hose will have your Lambda filtering and it does the job. I'm about to show you the entire uh, demo here in this video, so uh, stay tuned. And as I said, all the code is there uh, in the description. So right here, I'm publishing 30 events rapidly in a matter of seconds. This, uh, is, uh, this is a scenario where we are publishing events at a very high, high pace. Uh, rapidly, we are publishing events. So I'm gonna run this code and as you can see uh, on my screen, uh, hopefully. So we are publishing events at a pretty high uh, rate. So a lot of consumers are publishing event to the event bus. So uh, my data is being published on the event bus. Now at this point, what I wanna show you is essentially, if I go to the event bridge and uh, if I go to the rule, essentially, if I select my my event bus, I have a, uh, uh, I have a rule called Kinesis Stream Data Lake. Uh, let me explain you how, how what it does essentially a very easy for for learning purposes for you guys i'm doing it all events but you can put event filtering here and all i'm doing here is i'm setting up targets as a kinesis data stream so essentially it's going to put the data to the data stream right uh, by the way since we are also talking i would talk about the good practices here as well when you are working with event bridge make sure you have a, a retry policy and dlq setup so you can uh, take into account for failed events, right? Uh, so, 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 so that's that. Uh, now I'm gonna be um, going to the data stream, uh, hopefully here. I have a data stream essentially called data lake stream. Uh, all it does is essentially uh, the event event bus will publish data to the data stream. Then I have a delivery system that is a fire hose, which essentially is connected to my streams. And essentially the job is to, um, as you can see, publish data to the data lake, right? So uh, if you see my destination is S3, uh, data transformation is enabled, which means I'm, I'm transforming my data via Lambda. Right. So I'm going to show you the Lambda, what it does, uh, the logic of the Lambda over here. So uh, as you can see on my screen, for each uh, stream of record that Kinesis gets, I'm iterating over the records. I'm essentially decomposing or essentially decoding the data or uh, with the base64 decoder. Once I decode it, I, I serialize the JSON right as a, J, uh, as a dictionary. I use the load as method. After that, I get the details attribute because uh, I just want to get the events data from the event bridge. So I get the details attribute. Once I get that, I convert into a string and I add a new line character because that way my glue crawler can run over this and you, can, you know I can simply query this data via Athena. Uh, at this point, I have a hasher, right? So, um, uh, so the hasher essentially takes the data again, converts into a base64 encoded string, and then I'm uh, appending it to an array, and at the end, I'm re returning the JSON data. As you can see, at the end of the uh, demo, uh, or over here in my data lake, I have an event bus 2022, right? Now, what this allows me to do is it allows me to query my data using a standard data lake. So now, um, essentially, I can go to Glue, I can create a crawler, and then I can easily, um, you know, run my Athena query. I can query this data, right? So as you can see, amazing architecture, right? It can easily scale up pretty fast, right? I'm about to just show you very quickly. Uh, might take me a couple of minutes, but it's fine. I just want to show you in the video. So. Uh, I am about to go to the glue console. I'm gonna click on add crawler. I'm gonna say, uh, 
um we can also use kinesis analytics but i, I want to show you this approach uh, to be honest okay so uh bear with me for a couple of more seconds where you will learn all these um cool stuff so i'm gonna select i'm gonna cl click on next add data store uh, choose existing I, al I already have a role i want to run this on demand and uh, database i don't have a database so i just want to create a sample db just for to teach you guys you know what i'm saying so sample db uh, then i'm gonna click on next for now i'm just selecting all the default because i really want to show you so what i'm trying to show you is the power of cloud you can utilize all these amazing technology to build so many real-time analytics pipeline uh, you can deliver data to the data lake then your business can query this you can then um you know uh, get quick sites so which which means you can uh, visualize your data using aws quick site there is a lot of things uh, here that's going on in this video as i said it's a fun project where you will learn about all these amazing technology right so uh, i'm gonna refresh here uh, i think uh, my crawler is still running which is why i don't see my table uh, it's, it's starting so as you can see here uh, once it's complete it's gonna populate the tables and then i can query my table then if i want to perform transformation i can use aws data brew on that so you see there's a, so many things we can use on a project this is an amazing project i would say take some time try it out i would leave all the source code in the description so you know you can watch and you know learn about this because remember is a lot of things is um, going on so now i can click on preview table and of course you know yada 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 you have your data lake so Guys, as you see, we are using so many amazing technology, AWS EventBridge, Dead Letter Queues, then you're using Kinesis Data Stream, then you're using Kinesis Firehose, you're doing Lambda transformation on that, then you're using Glue Crawlers, then you're using Athena, you can use AWS QuickSight, AWS Data Brew, and a lot more. I hope you have enjoyed this. I'll try to leave the source code in the description so you can check it out. I'm gonna make an in-depth guide on how to get started with this project, okay? With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.